classical dance as I've seen it over these several decades. Sanctified space, not here only with the flowers, but by energy. It creates an aura of different energy because classical dance is really about not dance per se, it is about the sync, the harmony between mind and body. And that is what we we endeavor, that is our years of devoted practice to make this merging body-mind. And when that happens, energy transforms. Space is energized in a different way and needless to say when one touches the the realm of the spiritual of that which is beyond us because here again classical dance is about going beyond it's about transcendence it's about not living life looking at eye level it is to say, I want to look beyond. I want to raise my eyes. I want to reach beyond. I want to feel a bliss. I want to feel this other energy, not of the everyday. And this last piece which I perform, I've done it for several years. It's one of my favorites. And here you see how the collective becomes the personal, how the outer becomes the inner, goes towards the inner. This is from the text from the 14th century poem, Srimad Bhagavatam. My uh, choreography has been inspired by Indian miniature painting of the 17th and 18th centuries, where you see this scene again and again and again through the centuries Artists have painted this moment of epiphany. The epiphany is when Krishna dances with many. He multiplies. And as the song progresses, you see the women in their worldly affairs of stringing garlands or putting the child to sleep in the arms of their beloved. When they are startled, when they hear the sound of the flute, it penetrates them, it goes within and they are again perplexed but wonderstruck and they hurry out opening their doors only to find that many women have gathered together, all of them with the sound of this mesmerizing food. And they go together holding hands, eager, wondering, excited. They walk through the woods because that's where the flute leads them into the deep, dark woods. And then they see Krishna. this presence, this being, whatever you wish to think of Krishna as. And then in the clearings, by the dance, by the light of the full moon, and in that clearing, they dance the Ras. The Ras is, is a dance of abandon. It's a dance which has been seen like in the circular, when the mandala of the circular is repeated and the gopis dance and they are in this intoxicated and happy state of dancing when at one point suddenly they see to their, in their, to their amazement that Krishna is not one but several he multiplies and he dances with each woman, maiden, jivatma, call it again, we can have different names for the people. 
and they are all in this state of bliss. It goes on to end with a Namamani, which is calls the different names of Krishna as Vena Gopala, the flute player, the one who has lifted the mountain Govardhana, the one who dances on Kaliya, and of course the great god of Tirupati, Venkateshwara. But this is really a song which I thought of presenting because if I don't present this, I could do a Tillana. Which one would you prefer? <laughs> 